Bur'a is the second largest city in Somaliland, which suffered from destruction of prolonged civil war like many other towns in the country in the late 1980s and early 1990s. Youth are among the people most affected by the civil war. Their education is cut short, which results in poor socio-economic conditions and high unemployment rates. As a result, many youth opted to take the risk of becoming economic migrants to Europe, passing through deserts and perilous seas. Along this dangerous journey, youth are jailed, raped, while others die either in the desert or in the sea. Very few of them make the journey to Europe. However, there are others who are still in the country and make use of any opportunities that come up. Youth Employment and Training Project is a partnership between Candlelight and the United States African Development Foundation. The objective of the project is to create employment opportunities for the youth to develop skills and know-how, providing tools, equipment and safety materials so that they can easily access employment opportunities. The project also provides small grants which enable the trainees to start their small-scale businesses upon completion of the training. First phase of the project was implemented in Hargeisa in 2012, where 230 youths have benefited. During the second phase, 140 youths were trained in two groups for a period of six months each. The training was conducted in Bur'a and Sheikh. The areas of training were Plumbing, 20 male trainees. Electronic repair, 20 male trainees. Office management, 20 female trainees. Tailoring, 30 female trainees. Beekeeping, 50 trainees in which 26 were male and 24 were female trainees. This short documentary highlights project progress with special focus on key activities. In addition, the film will focus on the immediate impact of the training through case studies. To determine the most eligible applicants, qualified applicants sit for a written test, followed by a face-to-face -face interview conducted by Project Selection Committee consisting of candlelight staff officials from the Ministry of Education and Higher Studies, Community Education Committees and SOCA, a local consultancy group responsible for the monitoring and evaluation of the project. After completing selection process, the trainees received intensive training to advance their skills. The training had both theoretical and practical sessions. During practical activities, the trainees were divided into groups and given assignments which they did under supervision. The trainees also had opportunities to work together and learn from each other. During the indoor training, Tools and safety materials were distributed to the trainees. They familiarised themselves with the use of different tools and equipments that are being used in various skills and at the same time safeguarding the trainees against accidents during practical sessions. Upon completion of classroom training, Trainees were placed in workplaces such as private companies and government institutions for practicing their respective skills. During the placement, the trainees had to work hard so that business owners and the managers of government institutions might like their work and give them employment opportunities and interaction with customers. Throughout the project, 
Trainers were evaluating and assessing all trainees on a monthly basis till the successful completion of the training. Upon completion of the training, Candlelight organised a graduation ceremony in Bur'a and Sheikh towns. Officials from district education offices, district commission offices, community elders, community education committees and parents attended the graduation ceremony. They encouraged the trainees to utilise their skills and tools provided by the project and were cautioned against the risk of illegal migration. At the end, the trainees were honoured with certificates that have joint signatures of the Ministry of Education and Higher Studies. The training is unforgettable. During the last two months, I was working under the supervision of the director of Bura Water Agency, Mr. Ibrahim, who is a good manager. During the training, we were provided with all the tools and equipment for plumbing skills. I appreciate and thank all those who facilitated the implementation of the project. I remember before Candlelight started this training, I was among many youth who planned to leave the country. The training was a great opportunity. I congratulate myself and the entire graduates. I would like to thank Candlelight for implementing the project and USADF for their continuous evaluation and monitoring. I advise the trainees to continue their education and progress and never go backwards. For those girls who finalized office management courses, I hope that one day we will meet as managers in big companies. And same thing for male graduates. I hope that they will be engineers one day. One of the project beneficiaries is Farah Abdi Farah, who had completed office management training and was placed at Sugal Jet Printing and Advertising Agency. During the placement, Farah was competent and at the end of the placement was employed by the company. Prior to candlelight trainings, I had little knowledge, but upon completion of two months advanced training, I was placed with Sagaljet, which is a printing company, for two months, where I have gained practical skills as a cashier. At the end of the placement, I was given employment opportunity, and I became staff of Sagaljet company. The manager of Sagaljet also expressed his appreciation of Farah as one of the staff of the company who proved her competency through the skills she acquired from the training. Farah Abdi Farah Abdi Ahmed is one of the permanent staff of Sagal Chad. She came here as a placement trainee from Candlelight. During the placement, she worked as a cashier, since she took accounting courses in Candlelight. Farah is very competent, and that's why we hired her. Ali Ahmed is one of the trainees that completed plumbing training. We met him while he was working in construction site. He was happy to earn living with help of skills gained and tools he received. Before I didn't have any skill, however at the present I got two skills from Candlelight Training Center which are the electric installation and plumbing. Currently, my main source of income is plumbing. I would like to thank Candlelight and ADF for their support. Ibrahim Mohammed is also one of the beneficiaries of the project who completed electronic repair course, especially repairing mobile devices. When Candlelight granted Ibrahim the essential equipment he needed for his skill, he started his own small business and established a repairing shop in Bur'a Main Market. Ali already attracted some customers and his income is increasing as time goes by. I repair many electronic devices such as televisions, mobile phones, digital receivers and many other devices before I did not have enough knowledge on how to repair such devices. Beekeeping techniques and caring methods 
is a skill that is well received in communities living in Sheikh district. Amina is one of those youth who completed the training and currently she works in their farms as beekeeper. Before, I used to practice beekeeping with limited knowledge. I used to waste honey during harvesting, but after completing the training, I gained additional knowledge and skills on different areas, such as beekeeping methods and honey harvesting time. Fortunately, the training helped me to conquer all that. Dara Chama is among those who completed a tailoring course, specially designing and sewing curtains. Candlelight awarded Dara a tailoring machine to start her own small business and improve her life. I was trained on how to design the curtains, which is a male-dominant skill in Burgo, where you could not find women who are designing and tailoring curtains with covers. We were trained very efficiently by trainers, and as you can see, I have my own business now. My gratitude is first for Allah, and then for USADF and its partners. The Youth Empowerment Project has been run successfully in Somaliland. It has promoted self-employment and self-esteem among the participating youth. Those youth have shown full dedication and secured employment in both public and private institutions, while others become self-employed. A change in the attitude has been observed during the training, and they are now more optimistic towards life. Youth employment and training projects should be supported and expanded to other regions as well. Government and corporate companies should encourage graduate trainees by employing them to reduce unemployment, providing small grants to graduates who want to establish small businesses. Candlelight Organisation highly appreciates the support of USADF in funding this useful project. <laughs>